So this is the um, purpose of your music and about the way to, to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you were talking about your style, your rapping style, as mm -hmm. very and aggressive at the same time. Is oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, like I like to, uh, I like to show the very, very aggressive side and show and, and speaking about the real shit. You know, real things happen every day. I express this stuff I I go through. You know. Stuff I go through, my family goes through. I'm never, I'm not the type of person who will never speak about shit I don't do. You know, I'm not a big drug dealer. Never been. You know what I'm saying? Never been. Very scared to be a drug dealer because so much at stake. I think my freedom is worth more than anything you can make as a drug dealer. Personally. You know what I'm saying? So, at my time in my life, I choose different things. Entrepreneur, I sell cigarettes, I sell, you know, things like this, and this is how I make my money, and it's a reflection in me through hip hop. You know what I mean? I, I pretty much I, I take that and use that within my and my way of way of approach toward the, toward rap. You know what I mean? Toward hip hop. And so, what do you think of this rap, uh, this bling bling rap, like we, <laughs> we well, call well, it? Well, I tell you guys the truth, because me, I'm both sides. I have a balance in me. I can't call myself respect without respecting both. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand why people want bling bling. You understand? Because it's nice. You know, it's very, very nice. But um, too much bling bling is a problem. You know, and I think this picture is bad. When I'm growing up, I have uncles who, you know, like, see, I have, I have a little bling bling. You know what I mean? And my uncles would have, you know, jewelry, but not too much. You know what I mean? Just enough to wear with their suit and their hat and stuff like this. I don't wear suit. I wear fatigues. I wear t-shirts. So I'm going to have something nice, something small. But gaudy, extra, I think these are the wrong values to teach the kids to go get. Because you spend $140,000 on a fucking chain when you can buy a house. You know what I mean? And your mother lives in the projects. So why buy a chain? when you can take this money get your mother out the projects even if your mother want to stay in the projects you might get a house right along the side of the projects you know what i'm saying give your mother a better life you know sometimes people don't know what's good for them until you do it for them you know what i'm saying but people are so self-centered people are very selfish right now so it, this this really affects the game and uh, what about um, the the producers you work with Yeah. For music, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you you've been working with uh, some famous one like uh, um, Beat Miners. Yeah. Uh, from Boot Camp Beat Miners, my people. Um, Big up Evil D. War, what it is, family. Whole Boot Camp click. You know what it is. Smith and Wesson, Steel Tech. You know already, baby. You know what I'm saying. We're gonna end up on another song next year. So. Okay, <laughs> we will send it. We will send it to him. <laughs> <laughs> So, what about people you, you choose to work with? How it happens, usually? Uh, the same thing, the same way when I'm home. I come, someone approaches me. If they're good people, if I see they're good person, good people, they real, real, recognize real. If I see real, we work. If I don't see real, we don't work. This is how I work with everybody. So that's a human thing first. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. Um, I don't work with people that I don't really associate with like this too much. You know, you'll see on my projects, on my albums, everything like this. You'll see my family, team, people that I work with that I can call up on the phone and say, "Yo, can I come to your house to eat?" They come to my house to eat. This is. These are the people I deal with. This is what I want in hip hop again. When. My days at D&D, people were very close, you know what I mean? This was a time in hip-hop when hip-hop was like a family. And, you know, we lived in the same hood, we breathed the same air, we ate the same shit, we made the same music. And right now it's branched off a lot, but it's not because of, a, it's not because it, for lack of good music or lack of good people, it's for lack of community. And a lot of a lot of shit is reason is reason for this media you know some media some uh you know a lot of mentality changes you know what i'm saying shit like you know wanting money you know work only work shit like this 
this makes people become selfish. And the more you become selfish, the less you want to work with someone. You know, you think, oh, I can do everything. Like, perfect example in the States, a lot of people want to sing, they want to rap, they want to dance, they want to film, they want to uh, shoot photography, they want to do everything. One person, you know what I mean? And it's not bad. You know, I don't say, to, I don't tell people don't aspire to do things as well, but each person has something that they're supposed to contribute. You take the thing that you're most powerful, most, the strongest at, you work forward with this. You know, if you can get a little video production in or, or, or these things, you get a little bit of this in, a little photography in, then, you know, it's positive. You can do this, but keep your keep a balance you know real realistic balance you know realize your your best attributes me like i told you before i will never be a producer because i know producers produce you know what i mean their job is to make the the book you know what i mean they, they make the the book without the pages you understand and my job is to make the pages and this is what you see you know, this is this is what we have to do. This is a, a combination, a, a, a connection, a, a bond that carries on. Good music is like a very old book. It lasts forever, eternal. You know what I mean? Bad music, like a magazine. You sit on it and rip up. You know what I mean? So, and I think in order to make this good music, you gotta have a good bond. So, if you have good heart, good, real, recognized, real, you deal with real people, you get this good music or a record because the soul, as from the soul, will always be from the soul. This is how my forefathers and their forefathers and their forefathers did. You know what I mean? You go, you break bread. There was a time where this is tradition, where in order to even talk, you you come and bring something. You know what I mean? And I don't want to take their plate. You understand? If this is your plate, this is my plate. We meet together and then we get another plate. And then you take a little off, you take a little off, you know what I mean? Then we still keep our own plates while we still get bigger plates and give portions, you know? Is that also so to share and to connect with people that you, you've you been touring a lot? Yes, yes, uh, Not yes. only in USA, but also in Europe. Yes, yes, yes. A lot in Europe. We've been, I've been everywhere. I've been blessed to be in every part of Germany. Big up to all my family in Germany, Snow Boom. Um, been a lot of places in France, you know what I mean? This is my fourth place in France. Um, been to Brussels before, but this will be another time in Brussels. Uh, Amsterdam performed there, did uh, big festivals with Nickelback, Puddle of Mud, rock bands, these, these, and this was overwhelming, very good. Um, Poland, uh, Switzerland, Russia, you know, and each place Sweden, each place Colombia, you know what I mean? Each place is different. And as different as it is, there's always one same, similar thing. We're all the same and we go through the same shit. As much as we fight to show the difference, sometimes I think we push too much to show difference. And when actually we're the same, you know? Just because it looks different doesn't make it different. You know, same philosophy behind everything the world deals with, you know, from before this, you know, everyone has to have shelter. You know, how you do shelter is how you do shelter, how you make your shelter, you know. Everyone has to eat, you know, simple fly, everyone has to go to the bathroom, everyone has to wash, you know, these things are all tradition, you know, around, through everyone, all humans. So I think this is the big, big, the big, big push is just the humanity. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm sick of, I'm sick of not, you know, not seeing anybody stand up for humanity. You know what I'm saying? I think enough people see me and they see my faith, maybe they have faith. You know, 